Let's now talk tourism because one major project which could open up the chain, the change and change the economic fortunes of people of the Jura municipality as well as the Upper West region at large is the sighting of a safari resort project which is under construction at Jura Now, the multi-million dollar safari resort has a land size of four kilometers and upon completion will house over 400 species of animals. The project has been executed by management of Royal Cozy Hills, otherwise known as Jura Dubai Hotel, and is already 66 that's 76 percent complete. Join News Upper West Regional Correspondent Rafik Salam, who visited the site, reports that projects, apart from boosting the tourism industry, will give students the opportunity to learn more about Ghana's wildlife. One of the many projects which management of Royal Cozy Hills Hotel, otherwise known as Jirapa Dubai, is putting up to give a face lift to the hospitality and tourism industries. In the Upper West region is the construction of a four-kilometer safari resort. Work on the project is moving steadily and is already 76% complete. Project manager of Royal Cozy Hills Hotel, Michael Kruger, says the safari resort, when completed, will not only entice tourists to come to the Upper West region, but will be a game changer in the region's development. Within the safari in itself, you can see we have this artificial lake here. We've, we've created an island with an, an open restaurant where we expect guests to have a, a feel of the of nature's environment. In addition to this area, we have fishes in there available for fishing activities, aqua activities. Uh, also, in the, um, going forward on this project, we have some aqua games that we want to introduce on this, like the jet skiing and whatnot. So, um, yes, uh, the, the 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 safari aspect is is, is also um, ongoing, and from what we can all see we are done about 76 percent of this project when it comes to safari aspect alone we are expecting the last batch of animals to be arriving within the uh, within this quarter and by the end of uh, this year that's by the last quarter we should have a, a full commissioning on the safari aspect of this project as well several animal species have already been brought to the safari resort which is still under construction some cage and others allowed to move freely but within the four kilometers length fence ranch Notable among them are the zebras, ostriches, kangaroos, tortoises, and antelopes. Others are gorillas, peacocks, geese, and ponies. Dams have also been constructed to keep aquatic animals and also serve the drinking needs of other animals. 41-year-old Marcel Peter Tournier, since age 5, had love for animals and manages the safari resort. I've been working with animals since I was about five years old and um, I've worked right the way through with snakes all the way to birds, to predators. Um, I've trained animals, I do a lot of movie work um, with lions, hyenas, wild dogs, cheetahs, stuff like that. I specialize in breeding cheetahs so I love working with a variety of different animals and animals are straightforward. They tell you to your face whether they like you or not so you know exactly where your playing field is with them. He said some of the animals that will be brought to the safari resort will not only be the best, but the first time seen in either Ghanaian or West African soil. He said by the time the safari resort is open to the public at the end of the year, you will have about 400 different species of animals there. Well, very simple. They, the animals are here for a few reasons, for breeding and education and to attract tourists, to get people in. They can have a nice close look at some of the animals. Some of the species that we're bringing in, it's gonna be first for Ghana. And we're busy working on a few surprises. We're seeing if we can try and bring those in. Um, that will also be the first for Ghana. So, yeah, keep posted. I'm just coming out from one of four night houses constructed for the lions that will be kept at this safari. This is the place that has been first inspected by the Wildlife Division of the Forest Road Commission. Marcel Tooney explained how they will manage the four lions they intend to bring to the safari resort. Behind me here, this is the night house facilities. It's, it's divided into four, so we, got, we can split the lions up if we have to. Um, the lions have access to these night houses every single day and every single night. Doors will always be open unless we're inside cleaning. When we're inside cleaning, we train them to come in, we close the doors, and we can safely go in and clean. 
So the enclosure itself is divided into two. Just to, um, so if we've got any babies, the male can be split one side and the female can go out with the babies. And then what we do is when we introduce the females, we'll, we'll, so when we introduce females to the babies, we introduce one at a time. We let them bond with the babies and when they're ready, we let the male out. We, let him, we introduce him to the babies. Otherwise, if it happens too quickly, it can get quite nasty. Apart from this project, boosting the tourism industry in the Upper West region, it also give opportunity to students to come around to learn more about animals right here. By the time she's within the next five years, we will have the zoo section operational, which will have a variety of different monkey species, all the way through to maras and wallabies and birds and tortoises. And then I want to start introducing a reptiles section also. We can have some of the showcase, some of the snakes that we get here in Ghana. Yeah, and then bringing in more, more of the predator species, wild dogs, hyenas, uh, cheetahs. We're going to set up a cheetah breeding program, um, which will also be one of the firsts for West Africa and Central Africa. Um, Jeez, quite a, quite a few different things, quite a few different projects in place. Despite the huge potential benefit that the region stands to gain from the completion of a safari project and other tourist sites in the region, most tourists and holiday makers are reluctant to come to the region due to the unavailability of commercial flight operations. It is the hope of place in the tourism industry that the dismantling of the 44 mast which flight operator says is sighted on the flight path will enable commercial flights to resume operations in the region. When that is done, the tourism industry will be well patronized, leading to the total development of the Upper West region. Reporting for the news, Rafik Salam, Jiruba. Hello,